Rocky Stage 3 Level 6 exam questions. So let's kick off with a bit of statistics. The mode of three numbers is 5. The mean of the same three numbers is 8. What are the three numbers? Well, if you've got three numbers and the mode is 5, there must be more 5s than anything else because the mode is the most popular. So it's either three fives or two fives and something else. The mean is eight. Now if you take the mean and multiply by how many numbers there are, you'll find what the numbers add up to. So our numbers have got to add up to 24. So in fact it's two fives and a 14. On a farm, 70 sheep gave birth. 40% of the sheep gave birth to two lambs. The rest of the sheep gave birth to one lamb. In total, how many lambs were born? Right, so 40% of the 70 sheep gave birth to two lambs. So we better work out this to start with. Um, let's do this as a fraction. So we can cancel with those two noughts there, and then with these two noughts here, and left with 28. So there were 28 sheep that gave birth to two lambs, and the rest of the sheep gave birth to one lamb. So what's the rest of the sheep? So let's, we've got to do 70, take away 28, and multiply that answer by 1. So that's 56, uh, this is 42, so the answer is 98 sheep, lambs all together. Ratio. Show that the ratio of the green to the blue is in fact 5 to 3. So we're talking about the area, so the green the area of this bit is 9 nines for 81. The area of this bit is 3 threes a 9. So the total green is these two added together, which is 90. Now let's work out the blue. Now this distance here is 3, and this distance here is 9. So this is 3 9 to 27, and this is the same two figures around the other way, so this is also 27. Add those two together, that's 54, so the amount of blue is 54. Now ratios we can cancel just the same as we can um, fractions. So let's divide this by 9 and divide this by 9. That will give us 10 to 6, and 10 to 6 will then cancel as 5 to 3 doesn't mention showing you working out but quite obviously the only way we can show is to show the working out. A little bit of algebra. Solve this equation. Now whenever you see an equation there's more than one way to start. I could subtract 10k from both sides. But if I did, I'd have a negative amount of k over this side. So I'm actually going to subtract 6k from both sides. If I subtract 6k from this left-hand side, I'll be left with 9, the number 9. If I subtract 6k from this side, I'll be left with 4k plus 1. Now I'm going to subtract 1 from both sides. If I subtract 1 from that side, I'll be left with that. And if I subtract 1 from the left-hand side, I'll be left with 8. If 4k is 8, then k itself must be 2. And what have I done? I've divided both sides by 2. This is operating the inverses. It's also showing my working out. Solve this equation. Now again, I can start by several different things. But I'm going to choose to subtract 5y from both sides. 
Subtract 5y from the left hand side will leave me with 4y plus 22 equals. Subtracting 5y from this right hand side will leave me with 30. Now I'm going to subtract 22 from both sides, which will leave me with 8. And now I'm going to divide both sides by 4, which will give me the answer. Another equation to solve. And as with so many equations, you can start them many different ways. I am going to multiply both sides of this equation by 8. So I'll write that over there. The reason I'm going to do that is that will in fact cancel the 8 out underneath and leave me with this piece of information. Once 8 is 8. Now I'm going to remove the brackets by multiplying the 2 by the 5p 2 multiplied by 5p, and 2 multiplied by the plus 3, which will give me plus 6. Over here I can write, remove brackets, show my working out. Now I'm going to subtract 6 from both sides, leave me with 10p there, and 2 on that side. Dividing both sides by 10 will give me the p equals 2 divided by 10. A fraction always means top divided by bottom. So if it's a division you can't do, then writing it as a fraction will give you the answer. And quite often you can then simplify the answer. In this case, cancel it down to a fifth. Got a drinks machine. And a drink from the machine costs 65 pence. The coins are collected in the machine, and one day there were 43 50 pence coins, 27 20 pence coins, and so on. How many cans of drink were sold that day? Well, I'm going to show my working out whether the examiner tells me to or not. First off, I think we ought to find out the total amount of money here, so we need to multiply these amounts together. So let's multiply this by 50. If we do 5 3s of 15, carry the 1, 5 4s of 20, and 1 is 21, and put a naught on the end, we've done that. Now let's multiply this by 20, so if we double it, 2 27s of 54, and put a naught at the end, we've done that. This one will just need a naught at the end to multiply by 10, and this will do 5 times 2 is 10, uh, 5 6s of 30, and 1 is 31, so we'll add this up now. 9, 13 and 5 is 18, carry the 1, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 5 is 13, carry the 1 which will give me 3 over there. So that's the total amount of money in the machine in pence and each can costs 65 pence so we actually need to find out how many 65s there are in 3, 3, 8, 0. Oh. Well, I'm not very good at my 65 times table, so let's just work out to one side what 5 65s are. 5 5s are 25, carry the 2, 5 6 are 30, that's 32. Therefore, in fact, I can do 5 and get 3, 2, 5, subtract, bring down the next naught. 65s into that goes 2, therefore it's 52 cans. 52 cans sold. There we go. A little bit of algebra. This formula works out the cost of putting an advert in a magazine. C equals 12 multiplied by N and plus 95. Where C is the cost in pounds and N is the number of words used. An advert has 24 words, find the cost of the advert. So the cost of the advert is 12, multiplied by N, which is the number of words, and then add on 95. Now 12 12s are 144, so this is double that, plus 95. And that comes to 3 
3 but don't forget it's in pounds so you must put the pounds into the answer